Hey and welcome to another tutorial. This time I will try to recreate this broken glass effect inside Microsoft Word. And the effect comes from my free ebook 7 best text effects in Microsoft Word. I will post the link in the description. So let's jump back to this text effect inside this book. Which is this one. And as you can see it only takes two pages inside the book so it should be fairly easy. So let's jump to Word and get started. Inside the blank Word document I will insert a new text box, so I will select insert shape a text box and I will draw this fairly large, like this one. I will type in something random, not very creative, but I will type in glass and make this uh, label fairly big, so maybe 150 points, maybe not this big or I will maybe resize a text box. And I will change this font to be Franklin Gothic which is one of those fonts which comes with uh, installation of Microsoft Word, so you should have it already in your system, no need to download any special fonts. I will make this bold, and for this text box I will change the shape fill to be no fill and shape outline to be no outline, so we don't see this outline. For a easier alignment I may also set the alignment inside this text box to be center. It will be easy to align this on the page. So now how we will do this broken glass effect, we will start with creating holes inside the text and then we will add those missing pieces with custom shapes. So let's start with the holes, I will insert a new shape, this being a triangle and I will draw a fairly thin triangle going from the center to the outside of the text like this. And you can imagine that what's now blue will become white and create holes inside the text. So I'll copy paste this, Control C, Control V, rotate it and move it around like this. And we don't really need too many holes, maybe five or six different shapes should be enough. We will see once we change the color to white how it looks like. I will put one more here down here I'm not showing anything, maybe something like this. And I can also use the arrow keys on my keyboard so I can align this precisely. And one more, just so I keep this uh, length of the tutorial short. So. When I'm satisfied with the placement of all those shapes, I will uh, select everything by pressing the control key. I mean select all the triangles and change the shape fill to be white and the shape outline to be no outline. And immediately you can see that we have those holes inside the text. I can make some minor tweaks and minor adjustments like this. Again, I'm using arrow keys on my keyboard. And now we want to have those missing pieces back. For this, I will zoom in a little bit so I can see more details. And I will use a shape which is called Freeform. And how it, how it, what this shape does is we can select this shape and with the left mouse clicked or pressed, we can move around and draw some custom shapes like this. The other thing which we can do is just click around and create straight lines. So if I click few points, you can see I create straight lines and that's what we are aiming for. So again, I will select insert shapes free form and I will click one, two, three points and the last one around the first one so the shape will be connected. Change the shape fill to be black this time and shape outline to be no outline. And I will draw those pieces, triangle pieces where it seems like they are falling off the text. So again, new free form, create four points or three points, shape fill black, shape outline to be no outline, and I will create a few more of those shapes around the text. Again, we don't need you know too many pieces just because it would be hard to create and the effect wouldn't be that much different. So just a few pieces is fine. And again, we don't have to create very same looking pieces as are the holes, you know, the effect will be perfectly fine if you just create the fragments to be triangular. I 
Okay, so a few more pieces around here. And our effect is almost complete. Maybe some of the pieces could overlay the text a little bit, like this one. Okay, I'll zoom in to see a big picture. And I'm pretty happy with the result. So we can call this effect done. The other thing we, which we can do are completely optional. But they will make it easier if we will be tweaking anything. So I will select selection pane and I will select all the shapes which are same. So freeform shapes. I will select all of them with the control key. Select format and group them together. Then I will select those triangles and again I will group them together. So next time I choose that the text should be a different color, it would be pretty easy to change the color of the other shapes. So if I decide that the, this text should be, for example, maybe you know, violet or so, I can select this group, which I can rename as well, and call this fragments. And I can change the color of those fragments without the need to select any individual shape. And that's it. Thank you for watching.